Hey guys, Doug B here, your average axe wielding hack. I've had quite a few requests to show the guitars that I use in my videos. I've held off on doing that because it doesn't fit into the how-to category or the firmware category or the presets category or any of my categories. But I do like responding to viewer requests. So I guess right now is the time to do it. So let's see what I've got. This one is my 2003 Paul Reed Smith Custom 24. Let's see, let's see if I can show you good shots of all of it here. I got this one earlier this year from the local guitar shop. It showed up one day and I said, I'm taking it. I, I want it. Okay, so the color is Mateo Blue and it's a 10 top. Now it was pretty beat up, but the neck felt fantastic on this thing. And the Dragon 2 pickups sounded amazing. I, like, I bought it right on the spot. The shop set it up for me as the previous owner had decked the trim, and I wanted a floating trim setup. I took it home and cleaned 19 years of gunk off it, and then polished these pickup covers. Oh, look how they shine now. And it looks way, way better now. It has the rotary five-way pickup selector, which could be a pain if I was gigging, but it's really not a problem for use in the studio. And all five positions are very, very usable. This guitar would be my number one if it wasn't so darn heavy. It weighs 8.4 pounds and my back has problems when I use a guitar much over seven pounds. But I can't give this thing up. It is just, it's just too good. Okay, this is a 2021 Paul Reed Smith Zach Myers. I got this one earlier this year from Reverb. I already had a 2018 Zach Myers model in Trampus Green, but my wife really liked it, so I gave it to her and ordered this one. It was used, but arrived in great shape, and I started modding it right away to make it look a bit more traditional. I really wasn't a fan of the uncovered pickups, and I really don't like black hardware. Sorry, guys. I swapped out the old black tuners and put on these purloid locking tuners. I put nickel pickup covers on it and I swapped out the black pickup rings for cream rings. Also swapped out the old black speed knobs for black and clear lampshades. And of course, I swapped out the old black pickup selector tip for a cream one. The final mod was replacing the truss rod cover with this custom made one that has the rose on it. Isn't that gorgeous? Can you see it well? This guitar now looks exactly the way that I had envisioned it, but it rarely gets any play. It's really not all that heavy. It weighs seven and a half pounds, which is still usable. It's just that I have played Les Pauls off and on for decades and I really don't get drawn to single cut guitars anymore. I got rid of my custom shop R8 and R9 and replaced them with PRS double cuts and I don't miss them at all. My wife loves her Zach Meyer, so it's not like there's anything wrong with this guitar. I'm just a double cut fanboy these days. <laughs> what can I say? Okay, this is a 2022 Paul Reed Smith SE Silver Sky. Now my wife had ordered this for me for my last birthday, which is in January. My guy at Sweetwater had told her that demand for this new model was so high that he couldn't get it to her in time for my birthday. <laughs> he might be able to ship one out in April or May. Well, it didn't really bother me at all. I've tried playing strats for years and I even have a custom built S-Style but I just don't bond with strats for some reason. 
I even have the custom built one up for sale on Reverb. If you're interested, go to Reverb.com and search for Rocco S-Style. It's a gorgeous guitar, built exactly to my specifications, and I just can't play it. I also have a Rocco T-Style for sale on Reverb. Anyway, this Silver Sky arrived much earlier than expected. It was either late February or early March. I unboxed it and literally couldn't believe what I was feeling. This guitar felt exactly like the 64 Strat I used to borrow from the local guitar god when I was just a dumb kid who didn't know any better. I had been trying to find a Strat that felt like that one and they never worked out. This is Strat number eight for me and finally it's the right one. Then I plugged it in and it sounded just like that 64 Strat. Whoa, major score on this guy. Now I put it on the scale because I had heard early reports that some SE Silver Sky models weighed over eight pounds. This one weighs 6.8 pounds, even better than I had hoped for. It still needs to go into the shop for a proper setup because I'd like for it to have a floating trim, but the local shop is backed up for at least two months and I cannot let this thing be gone for that long. I just can't, uh-uh. <laughs> Okay, this is a 2018 Paul Reed Smith Custom 22 Semi Hollow Body. I got this one early this past summer after I had sold off a lot of my old gear. I had been looking for a Custom 22 Special Semi Hollow, but one of the PRS experts at the gear page told me that unless I really needed that third pickup, to go for a Custom 22 Semi Hollow Body instead because it was much better. So I changed my search parameters and found this one that had been listed for three months. See the back, blue, blue neck, headstock. The price had never changed on it, but it wasn't outrageous and it was right in line for expected prices for this model. And this violet blue burst was just gorgeous. So I didn't even try to dicker. I just paid the price that the seller was asking. It arrived a few days later and wow, <laughs> it didn't need much cleaning up at all or setup work, but the pickup covers were starting to get tarnished, so I polished them. Let's see if you can see how they look now. It has the 5815 LT pickups, so it's not hot sounding at all. You can split the pickups and there is no volume drop when you do. It has the sweet Paul Reed Smith trim system and it only weighs six and a half pounds. All this adds up to it having become my number one. I will reach for this guitar more often than any of my other guitars combined. The neck feels great and those 5815 LT pickups sound amazing. They can roar when cranked, but also clean up amazingly well when you roll the volume back. Even the neck pickup sounds sweet and jangly with the volume backed up. None of my Les Pauls ever, ever did that. If I backed the volume off, all they did was get muddy. Apparently Paul Reed Smith uses a treble bleed on these pickups and it works great. This one is a 2021 Paul Reed Smith McCarty 594 Hollow Body 2. Take a look here. I got this one right before the holidays last year. I had brought some of my gear to the local shop for consignment and when I saw this guitar I asked if I could try it out. They kept it locked in a clear case so that you could look at it but not touch it. They pulled it out and let me try it out, and I didn't even want to plug it in. 
it felt fantastic, had that beautiful violin-like curve, and man, was it light. I asked the guys at the shop if they could weigh it, and it came back at 5.8 pounds. My Les Pauls weighed four more pounds than this thing did. I had them put it back in the case and went home. This was on a Friday, and that darn guitar called to me like a siren all weekend. So that Monday, I brought my 2007 R9 to the shop and traded it for that brand new McCarty. Man, was I stoked. The McCarty's colors are similar to my R9, but are actually richer. The pickups are the 5815 LTs, and this guitar has separate volume and treble for each pickup. Plus, you can split them individually. That gives you eight pickup combinations, making this guitar extremely versatile. The one thing that this guitar is missing is a trem system. If it had a trem, it would be my number one hands down. It sounds great, has the versatility that I mentioned, looks beautiful, and is the lightest guitar that I've ever owned. My back really appreciates that. And look, even the back has that beautiful violin-like curve, like the front. Look at that job. Why this thing isn't a 10 top is beyond me. So there you have it guys, a quick run through of my guitars. I am really happy with this bunch. And see, there are times I just kick back and look at them because they are so pretty to look at. You know, the only other guitar that I'm looking for would be a PRS DGT semi-hollow or a solid body if it weighs, you know, under seven pounds, under seven and a half pounds but in Charcoal Cherry Burst or Faded Whale Blue. I don't know if anything like that even exists, so I am not holding my breath waiting for it. Okay, next Wednesday will be part five of the Preset Building 101 series, and we are gonna be taking a look at setting up some scenes. Now, you do not wanna miss that, so go ahead and hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell. All right, guys, have a great weekend, and I will see you next week.